Welcome back, friends. I'm going to go ahead and go to Elements, and I'm going to place this photo on my workspace. And I'm going to make it as large as my workspace. I'll even stretch it out just a little bit like that. I'm going to add, I'm going to duplicate this page, and I'll come to the, my second page. And now I'm just going to move this around and zoom right up to this top corner here. I'll now again make a duplicate of this page. And I'll come to the third page and I'll move all the way down to the middle part so at least we can see something in this video. Again, I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to duplicate and I'll go to my fourth slide. And for this one, I'm just going to move all the way over and to the bottom like that. Again, I'll click the three dots and duplicate the page again. I'll grab that and bring that right up so that we can see the falls like that. Again, I'll duplicate this page and I'll grab my photo and I'll make it a little bit larger just to kind of emphasize these people here sitting on a park bench. Let's see if we can make that a little bit bigger. And I'll now make another duplicate. And I'll come on to my last page. And I'm just going to make that slide smaller again. Like that. I'm now going to click in between my slides and I'm going to use match and move. And I'm going to increase the duration. I'll bring that all the way up like that. And I'm going to apply that to all pages. Now I'm going to come back to my workspace and I click the duration and I'll click the play button to see what that looks like. And now we can go ahead and add any text that we want to on all the slides. All right, and I'm going to continue adding text to all the slides and I'll be right back. Now, if we don't want the words overlapping on one another, then what we can do is we can just show the timing and we can just decrease the timing on those specific words. So that they're only appearing during the slide that they are on.
All right, let's go back to the beginning and see what this looks like. Let's press the play button. And that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this stop motion animation technique. If you did, press that like button, subscribe, and turn that notification bell on. Bye for now.